Hi everyone, welcome back to Amaterasu Riddle Star, episode 15, and I'm pretty sure this will be the last episode in my Amaterasu Riddle Star series. So I'm coming close to the end of the common route, and I won't be doing the individual character routes for now. So anyways, it is currently the school festival, and back at the Japanese style cafe, that's where Taka and me are working at, it's quite busy, and it's mostly because the boys want to see Miyu in a kimono outfit, and they want to be served by her. And that's especially true for Adam, the annoying guy. So, while Tuck is on a break, he's going to see what the other classes are doing for the school festival. So, he's over here looking at the yakisoba stand, and that's what Yua and her track and field club are doing. So let's see how this one goes. So anyways, Taka's hungry and it's appropriate for him to come here. So as I enter the courtyard, the ceiling sound and the savory aroma of yakisoba drifted over to me. And I wonder if Yua notices that it's Taka that she's serving. So Yua smiled as she used her spatulas to lift up and stir the pile of noodles on top of the iron plate. Uh, hello Yua! Oh, it's you! Okay, so she now notices Takaya. Um, yeah, so I'm starving, so can I get some yakisoba? So a long line had formed at the start. Oh, so at the stand Yua was helping out at as well. Just what you expect from the number one girl you want to make your wife. Okay. So, um, here you go. Thanks. But what do you mean by specially for me? So, did you customize it? Did you put your specialty in it? Did you make it so that it would fit my taste? There you go. It's like, well, I customize it for you. I know what kind of taste you like, so I made it so that it fits your taste. There you go. That's nice. Well, true. So it does look different than the stuff that everyone else is getting. So thanks, Yua. Okay, and that makes other people jealous. Like, damn you, Domoto Takaya. How dare you act like it's natural for Arisa-san to have made yakisoba specially for you. So, I can't believe she's willing to customize it to your preference. How come we don't get that treatment? Ah, couples should just blow up. Couples should just get turned into a supernova and explode. Uh, so the stairs are painful. Now that I think about it, there's a rumor going around that there is a I want to kill Domato Takaya meetup happening soon. So I should hurry and just get out of here. So, well, it's already making the other boys feel comfortable, so I might as well just leave before it gets worse. Okay, alright. So, Yua, I'll give you this as a payment. So as I said that, I handed her a ceramic star-shaped keychain. Yes, thank you. This is 
Kosh ka na? Well, I bought it at the Astronomy Club booth just now. Okay. Wait, so is that weird? Well, I think it's weird because he's paying her with a special charm that he bought as opposed to money. And I'm sure this is enough to make the other boys even more jealous. Like, oh, so it means that they're closer than we thought and they're trying to show off. Not fair. Okay. Hmm. Well, it could be worse. Okay, so how about you go with over there and enjoy the kisoba and just relax. There you go. Well, I'll do that. Okay. So as I head to the bench, I saw a familiar customer ravisni scarfing down Yakisoba. So who's this? I... Hey, um, finish your mouthful before you talk. Still, you sure can't eat, huh? So you're eating monstrous amounts of Yakisoba, and I wonder how many you bought from the stand. So I think you had tailored Ai's yakisoba as well, so Yui seasoned it to her liking. So there were already five or six plates piled on top of each other next to Ai. Oh, okay, so I bought that many. Well, I guess I'll dig into... Oh, so it's hot. But yeah, it's delicious. So by the way, are you enjoying the school festival? Okay, so we get to decide how Taka responds, so... Is it good? Or is it... Uh, well, it's not that great, but at least it's okay. So, for this episode, I'm going to show both options right now, instead of at the end. So... Let's see the first option, so it could be worse. Hmm, so it's not that great, but it could be worse. Well, more importantly, I, so aren't you broke? So what's with all this yakisoba? So how are you, were you able to afford all this? Well, I'm sure it's because I looks cute, she looks hot, so the other boys are willing to buy anything for I just to make her happy. Hmm. You know, so you shouldn't take stuff if you don't know why you're getting it. Well, I'm sure those other boys don't mind. Okay, so I'll give this to you, Takaya. Okay, so before I continue, let's see the other option. So, let me pause the game here. Okay, so I'm back at the selection screen. And let's see what happens if I pick the other option. So, Takaya telling I that it's pretty fun. And I'm pretty sure this option gives I a point or a flag. And the first one does nothing. So, it's pretty fun. <laughs> but anyways, I is busy enjoying her food. Wait, delicious? So, the school festival isn't a food festival, you know? And more importantly, I... Aren't you broke? So what's with all that yakisoba? 
so I'm pretty sure this is where the other option will take us, so let's just move on ahead. Hey, um, you shouldn't take stuff if you don't know why you're gaining it. So, what does I have to give to Takaya? I then pass me a handmade ticket. Hmm, so what's this? A ticket for a haunted house? And two of them, even. So wait. Okay, so my class is doing a haunted house. So, um, these tickets let you come in. Apparently. Well, it makes sense. It's like, a, well, I gave you two so that you can bring someone with you. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Taka's wondering. Hmm, so. Who should I bring to I's haunted house? Well, it's good that she gave me, or she gave them to me, but... There you go. So, who can I even go with? So, um, you and me are both busy, and... Okay, so we're at the entrance to Ai's classroom and the haunted house, and I wonder what Kokoro and Hira are doing over here. Wait, so I think Hira and Kokoro, they set this up and they had Ai be the messenger. Okay, I guess. But then again, I don't see Hire and I be on good terms because they're both upset that I keeps cutting class. And when Hire tries to attack I, I always dodges and wins. But anyways. Okay, so. Okay, so they're trying to follow how it worked in the drama. Let's see. So the key to increasing your intimacy with one another has to be exploring the festival. So, so keep it up! Hmm. So what should I do with the ticket? So going to a haunted house alone is just too depressing. It's like, well, I got two tickets and I'm sure I's expecting me to go with someone. <gasps> and right when I turned the corner, <laughs> so here you go, here's your chance. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. Wait. So, did Takaya fall on, pur on purpose? Or um, did Hire trip Takaya? So. I bumped into someone else. Oh, so... Oops, Kokoro, I'm sorry.
so the way Ko responds, it doesn't really sound like she's sincere. She's like, uh, pay attention next time. And it sounds like she's reading a script. Ah, uh, so she's been, she's mispronouncing things again. And why does it sound like she's reading from a script? Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Hmm. Hey, I'm Hire. So I feel that Taka can sense that I'm not being honest and truthful, and I'm basically a puppet for someone, or I'm trying to follow someone else's plan. Hey, Em. So. Don't go off guard. Don't deviate from our plan. So just invite him like how the drama worked. So what's next? So you can see Koko hesitating, and she's like, "Wait, so what's the next word? Um, how am I supposed to follow the script? Like, what am I supposed to say next?" And what she means, well, I'm totally busy. I'm sure Taka will be like, "Well, if you're busy, why don't you go and continue your work? Am I bothering you?" Oh, okay. So we get to decide how Taka responds. So. A. Should we invite Koko to the festival? Or B. Well, I'm not sure what the other option means, but let's pick the one first. So, better to let sleeping dogs lie. So I love to invite her, but I'm afraid of Hire, who is hiding behind her. Oh, okay. So, apparently, Hire is intimidating Taki. It's like, hmm. I wonder how Taka will, will respond to this. And if I get my planning done correctly, I'm expecting him to do this. And I'm sure if Taka deviates from Hirei's plan, it may result in Hirei using her headbag attack to get him to comply. And that's going to make it worse for Kokoro, at least. No, wait. So, things might get even more terrifying if I don't invite her. So it's like, well, if I say no, then he's going to be upset, and likewise, the rocket headbutt attack. Well, I guess I have no choice. Okay, so, hey, um, so I'm completely free right now. So, I was thinking about maybe inviting you if you are up for it. Um... Okay, so I think this is where both options end up. So before I continue, I'll go back and pick the other option. And I'm sure this option is going to give Kokoro a flag or a point. So, hold on for a moment. Okay, so I'm back at the selection screen, and let's see what happens if I pick the other option, where Takaya naturally invites Kokoro to the festival, and not be worried about Hirei and her suspicious gaze. Okay, so... Oh, right! So, um, do you want to go look around the festival with, with me? Wait, so are you saying yes? 
Hey, um, well, I'm completely free right now, so I was thinking about maybe inviting you if you're up for it. Okay, so once again, Hire, so this isn't really following how it went in the drama, and what are we going to do with it? Um, no, 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 this is going okay, so just say yes. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Hey, I can see Hira, you know, so I know that Hira is spying on us. Okay, so Kokoro follows Hira's order. It's like, okay, I can do it. Well, good then, so let's get going. Okay, so here it comes back and whispers more details to Kokoro, and I'm pretty sure that's a giveaway to Taka about, hmm, I feel that Kokoro is inviting me using a script, and in her heart, she's not really interested in inviting me in the first place. Well, I don't know what plan she's talking about, but whatever. So, um, there's a certain place I want to go, so is that okay with you? Well, I'm okay with anywhere you want, so... Okay, hmm, so she's speaking kind of weird. So is she okay? It's like, um, well... Well, anyways, Taka can really sense that Kokoro's reading a script at this point. So, without, without delay, Kokoro and I headed to the third year classroom together. The haunted house. Wait, so it's completely obvious that Hiri is tailing us though. So I can sense Hiri following us wherever Kokoro and I go. Okay, so where do you want to go? Um, right here. So this is a friend of mine's class, and since we have tickets, we can go straight in, apparently. So, does Kokoro know about it, or she is surprised by Takaya's choice genuinely? Wait, Kokoro, so are you alright with the haunted house? Well, if it is too much for you, then just say so, okay? Well, I have to support your friend, and after all, your friend, well, that's I, gave you the tickets, so um, it'd be bad if you waste it or give it to other people. So she was putting up a strong front, but her voice was clearly shaking. Well, I handed my tickets to the receptionist while thinking that I knew exactly how this would turn out. Okay, so have fun! So let's see how their time at the haunted house goes for Kokoro and Takaya. Uh, 
Okay, so we're at a tombstone. Um, oh, so they managed to create a pretty good atmosphere. So it is creepy. And will-o'-wisps made from light bulbs were floating up and down around the paper mache tombstone. It looks like they put a lot of work into this. Okay, so Koro is scared and she's clean on to Takaya. Oh no, so she stepped on she stepped on something. So Koko's face went pale as she clung to my arm. There you go. Well, don't worry. So I'm right here. She was shaking and shivering. I knew she'd be afraid. And once again, Hirei is spying on them from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. So if you don't have a ticket, please go to the end of the... Shut up. So here's going to cut in lines like, well, I'm going to go in no matter what, and you can't stop me. So the receptionist just got blown away by the rocket headbutt, didn't he? Poor guy. Well then again, how is that going to help bring Kokoro closer to anyone? It's like, oh, so... Basically, Kokoro can do anything she wants, and if anyone defies her ideas, then Hirei comes over and beats you up with her rocket headbutt. And in a sense, it's like, well, my ideas reign supreme, your ideas don't apply, and my ideas will stick, you cannot defy them, you cannot put any of your ideas in. Well, anyways, going back to this, so we see another ghost. It's like, one, two, there is one missing. <laughs> and some monster. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, I want to suck your blood. You really are a bad... Like, you really are bad with haunted houses, Kokoro. And come on, these are not real. They're just classmates dressed up in horror costumes. そんなことありません。心様、恐怖に震えておられる。今すぐ出てお守りしたいところだが。Okay. Wait, what kind of test is this? I don't think it's making anything better for Kokoro. So, what else happened? Let's see. Oh. So a ghost. Boo. Hey, come on. So it's just a toy ghost. What? Let's see. One, it's from a box, and two, there are springs. So don't worry, this thing is not going to harm you. Let me see. So, hmm. So it's a cute ghost plushie with big round eyes. And it's tongue sticking. <laughs> so who's this? Ah, so even Takaya got scared by this one. <laughs> well, I'm sure we know who this is. Wait, so is that you, I?
ご名札だよどうだいなかなかいい作りだろ So like how I tricked both of them It's like Oh look So this is a toy ghost It's harmless It's just a plushie And it's cute But I was like Well that's just a decoy I'm the real ghost And My Trick is to surprise you And catch you off guard So how's that And that really Got even Taka scared too So I took off her sheet and showed us her regular self. Yeah, so this haunted house is pretty high up there. Why me? Look how scared Kokoro is. <laughs> well, she is still scared. <laughs> Well, you're almost there, so keep it up. All right, so let's get going. So, leaving I, Kokoro and I continue to follow the path to the exit. So, is it better now? And it seems that he is enjoying all of this, so watching Kokoro scream and call for help. So, more monsters? Well, it is kind of hard to hold back now. It's like, um, Kokoro screaming, she's calling for help, but I know I have to keep my composure. Oh, over there! So you saw a gate with the words EXIT! Congratulations on escaping! On top of it. So they're pretty close to the end of the haunted house. Let's see. So Kokoro, it'll all be over once we go through that gate. It's、so、the EXIT. Okay, so let's hurry. Let's hurry. So, urged by Kokoro, we headed towards the exit. Okay, so we made it. We're at the exit. And right when we pass through the gate. Ooh, boo, ooh. Okay. And more ghosts. Boo, boo, boo. Whoa, so it looks like they got us right at the end, Kokoro. Wait, Kokoro? Aw,、oh, crap. Oh no! So we hurt Kokoro too much. Hey, Em, don't cry. Look, it really is over now. Ah,、uh, so she's not stopping. The haunted house was really too well made. Come on, so let's go back to the tea ceremony club and eat some nice sweets. But right when I was about to bring Kokoro out of the haunted house, what happened? Okay, so what happened now? Wait, what? So one of the ghosts was blown away by a familiar sound. So wait, is Hiri destroying the haunted house with her own attacks? Wait, but this is a haunted house. You can't do that. So here's like, well, I'm getting tired of you people scaring our dear Kokoro sama, so I must teach you a lesson. Hey, hey, Hirei, don't take this so seriously. 
This is just kind that kind of place. So people are here to get scared. Well, I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyways. And there she goes. So Hirei's head flew about in a flurry as the haunted house descended into chaos. So Hirei's basically destroyed the haunted house because they made Kokoro cry. And that defeats the purpose of the haunted house. <laughs> but I like how I plays along with this. Like, oh, so I see an exorcist that's going to cure this whole place of ghosts. Okay, so if you want to play that, then how about you fight against me? Ooh, so I saw managed to dodge all the rocket headbutts. Well now, now it's not the time to be amazed. Let's just get out of here. Come over here! Wow, so this really turned into something crazy. Let's just go. So Kokoro and I left behind the fierce I versus Hiri battle that was unfolding and destroying the haunted house. So how's it now? Okay, so the back at the tea, the tea ceremony club. So that haunted house part reminded me of what happened in Love Suites, in one of the routes. So that was with the senior senpai Minamo and Joe. So Minamo wanted to go to the haunted house, and then when they went inside. Minamo is clinging onto the main character, Itsuki, really hard, and the more she screamed, the more or the harder she clinged onto Itsuki. And because she's a senpai, she's turning or she's intimidating the main character. Well, I'm not really gonna explain why, but I'll say like it's kinda like what happened with Madori and Takaya. And then she came with some make-believe monster. It's like, oh, I see a monster over there. And when Itsuki questioned Minamo, was like, where's the monster? Where is it? It turned out that Minamo was really pushing it. It's like, well, I did it on purpose because I wanted us to be closer together, and I kind of like how you reacted when you were all over, like, I was all over you, seeking your help to get away from all these, these monsters. And I also like how at the exit of the haunted house, they throw in some few surprises. And it's like, well, you're at the exit, but the scare's not over yet. But anyways, now with the haunted house out of the way, let's see what happens with Yua and the TCMA club. So she's like, okay, all done. So the whole class yelled out together as the fireworks signaling the end of the festival ring out. So that's good. So they used up everything. So I wonder how much Adam and Melody put into this ceremony club activity the Japanese style cafe and I wonder how much food and ingredients they wasted from their clumsiness so Melody falling over and well, I'm not really sure about Adam okay So I think this this is the appropriate time for the teacher Yamai Sensei to go to sleep. Ooh. 
慣れない接客をあんなに手際よくこなせるか大したもんだぜお前ら So everyone in the class, Sensei and the bro, looked back at all their hard work together, deeply moved. Okay, so it's over. So I'm all worn out. So even I'm tired. And I wonder if Yua helped as well. But then again, this was all done on a short notice, so. Yeah, well, it was fun. There's still the cultural festival half a year from now, right? So it's crazy just thinking about it. So basically, our school has so many events, and this is just part of them. So, by the way, how about you, Takuyaki? Do you enjoy the festival? Hey, um, what's with you, Yua? Well, it was fun, so. Okay, so it's like, um, well, I enjoyed the festival, so what about you? And for Yua, it's like, well, don't worry about me, I'm okay. Okay, so it's time for the bonfire. So this is where the drama theme comes in. It's like, well, at the end of school festival, they had this bonfire and everyone was dancing. So I wonder, so do you have anyone in mind that you want to invite? Well, if it is the bonfire, right? Well, so should we all go together? Why well, I think the problem is that, well, we can all go together, but when it comes to dancing in front of the bonfire, you can only dance with one person, and I wonder who that one person is going to be. Well, for me, I haven't really decided, so I don't even know who I want to dance with. So the folk dance, huh? So it completely slipped my mind. But this is the school festival, after all. It would be a shame if I didn't enjoy the final event. Hmm, that's right. So who should I invite? And so, the sun set, and the concluding event of the school festival, the bonfire begins. And this is where I'll be concluding the playthrough of Amaterasu Riddle Star. So, this is the end of the common route, and this is where the individual character routes begin. So, depending on the options that you picked earlier in the story. This is where Taka decides which girl he wants to go dance with, and that marks the beginning of the individual character roots. So overall, there's some good parts about the story and some annoyances. So the good parts. So my favorite thing about this is Yua. So despite Yua being childlike at her age, she does have her charms, and I really like how they pictured her when she's in her full imagination mode. Her talking from her heart and bring all these interesting fantasies and imagination about the constellations. In the stories associated with it, and yes, the stories do sound a little bit childish, but it kind of sounds cute and creative. 
And also for I, despite I being a little bit crazy, out of whack, and being quite mischievous, for some reason she comes at she comes at the right time to help Takaya. And every time she brings up something, it always ends up helping Takaya for the better. And I kind of wonder what kind of connection she has with Takaya from the past. So there may have been something that we haven't really seen yet in the story. And that's for us to see maybe in Ai's own personal route. So on the other side of the story, we have some annoyances, notably Adam and Melody. And when Adam tries to praise about him being handsome, perfect, the roses, and how he's the perfect guy to be, like the perfect guy suited for the ladies, it got quite annoying, and he kept doing it. So it got really old, and with Melody on the side, praising Adam for everything he does. So, I won't continue with this story for now, but I will continue with A Sky Full of Stars and If My Heart Wings. And I feel that this story is a little bit close to A Sky Full of Stars, given that both titles cover astronomy, and I feel that you was a lot like Orihime. So Orihime also had a really big dream about spreading astronomy to the whole town. And she wants the main character, so Akito in this case, to join her. But when he declined and tried to get out of it, that didn't stop Orihime. And I remember that one scene where she grabbed onto him as he was trying to leave her club room. And I feel that, that the same thing is happening to this title as well with Takuya. And now I kind of wonder, so after all of this, has Takuya changed his perspective about the world? It's like, well, even though imagination is unrealistic, it does have its positive parts. And I wonder if someone like Miyu could help him see that imagination is not all that bad compared to reality or realistic. So even though there's no science or history behind it, it does have its specialties and it may come true someday. But anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you in a future playthrough on a future game.